this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Hume's method to solve a differential equation. Um, we're going to solve an equation by hand using a table. So just to recap, Hume's method uses the slope in the middle of a, a step. So in contrast to Euler's method, which would use the slope just at the beginning of the step, Hume's method uses the slope at the beginning and at the end and puts those together to form a better estimate for the slope over the, over the step. And, um, creates a second order method. So we wrote last time in the last video that Hume's method solves the differential equation in the form dy dx is equal to some function of x and y. And this is a two-step method with a predictor step given that creates this y i plus 1 star, which is an intermediate value, and then the corrector step that actually computes y i plus 1, which incorporates information from the beginning of the slope beginning of the step and at the end of the step, and is more accurate than Euler's method. Okay, so in this problem we're going to solve dy dx is equal to x plus, let's just say x plus y minus 1, with initial condition y of 0 is minus 2, we're going to use a step size of h is equal to 0.5. And we're going to use a table, so I'm going to create a table here. My table is going to have three columns, one, the first column is going to be the update for, for x, so we're going to have x i plus 1 is equal to x i plus h, same as Euler's method, and then the predictor step, we put in the middle column, which is going to say that y i plus 1 star is equal to y i plus h times f of x i y i and then finally our corrector step which is going to be y i plus 1 is y i plus h over 2 times f of x i y i plus f of x i plus 1 y i plus 1, which that's not known yet, that's what we're solving for, so this is i plus 1 star. And that's our full update. And this uh, h over 2 multiplies this entire quantity, um, even though I'm going off the page here, just know that that's the case. Okay, <clears throat> but those are the columns. Um, you'll notice that the predictor step is exactly the same as Euler's method, and then we have this additional corrector step on top of it. So, corrector step. so we always start off these tables with the initial condition. So our initial condition is x1 is equal to 0, and y1 is equal to uh, minus 2. And um, I'm going to change that because in my notes I have our initial condition as just 2. So we're going to change our initial condition to just be 2. So I'm going to change that everywhere. Okay, so now we want to compute the next step in our table, so we're going to compute x2, which is equal to x1 plus h, which is equal to 0 plus a half, which is just a half. Okay, and then we have y2, which is equal to y1 plus h times our function evaluated at x i y i, which is x1 plus y1 minus 1 which is just the right-hand side of the differential equation. So if you look back up here, this right here is f. Okay. And if we plug numbers into that, this is equal to y... Back to black. This is equal to y1, which y1 is 2. Our step size is a half. x1 is 0, y1 is 2, and minus 1 is our end of the equation. If we do the math out of that, we get 2.5. Okay, so that's y2. We actually put a star here. That's not y2, that's y2 star. And then over here, we're going to compute actual y2, which is y1 plus h over 2 times um, x1 plus y1 minus 1 plus x2 plus y2 star minus 1 
and if I plug numbers into that, I get y1 was 2, h was a half, divided by 2 is just a fourth, x1 is 0, y1 is 2, x2 was a half, y2 star is 2 and a half, minus 1, if I do that the math on that, I get 2.7. Okay, so that's, and we've just computed the second step in our um, solution. So let's do one more step. So x3 is equal to x2 plus h, which is equal to a half plus a half, which is equal to 1. y2, sorry, y3 star is equal to y2 plus h times x2 plus y2 minus 1 where y2 is 2.75 plus h is a half, x2 is a half, y2 is 2.75 minus 1. Now be careful here because a lot of people will use y2 star instead of y2. y2 star values are always intermediate values, they never get actual solution. So you never use them after the step that, that it's on. So all these are actual y2 values. Okay, and then y3 comes out to 3 point, y3 star comes out to 3.875, and then we're going to have our actual y3, which is y2 plus h over 2 times our f evaluated at xi, yi, which is going to be uh, x2 plus y2 minus 1 plus x3 plus y3 star minus 1. And if I plug numbers in, y2 was 2.75. H is a half divided by 2 is a fourth. x2 was a half. y2, 2.75 minus 1 plus x3 is 1. y3 star, 3.875 minus 1. Parentheses. If I do the math out on that, I get 4.28. So that's the first three points in our solution. Um, so we have x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. Remember, all the stars are just intermediate values, they're not actually part of the solution. But that's how we can use Hume's method to solve a differential equation by hand. Now, that's very tedious, but it's very repetitive. So we'll work in class on how we can write a MATLAB code to do that for us.